So as we know, uh, feet is on its way out, and it's going to be removed from the WCA. So, you know, maybe as that event goes, there could be an event to replace it. So this video is kind of like five ideas for replacements to feet. Um, now, I don't think that feet will actually be replaced with anything. It's just kind of going to be gone. But this is still like a fun thing to think about. So let's get to it. First, I wanted to start with a cuboid. Now, whenever people talk about adding a cuboid to the WCA, I usually hear them talking about bigger ones like the 3x3x4 or 3x3x5. But I instead would rather have add the uh, 3x3x2. Now, the reason is, is because it looks like a fairly simple puzzle, um, but in reality, if you're not used to solving cuboids, it's actually kind of a difficult solve. Now, I have done it before, but I had to keep repeating steps until I got lucky, and it took me a while to figure out my last few pieces. So, this is kind of a challenging solve, but I would like to see how methods develop to solving it, because you can uh, put speed solving methods onto this cube like you can solve a cross and then you can do corners and um you know you can solve last layer uh the way i solved it is i did like a first block line kind of thing and then a second block line and i didn't know how to solve corners because i didn't want to look up any algorithms so i kept doing those steps until i got a cmll skip um and then i kind of did lse using m slices and use like that um and then I got some parity algorithms, which were pretty difficult. But this is a very fun solve, and I think it would be pretty interesting to see how this would develop um, as a speed solving event. Now, this next event that I would like to see added, it would be kind of hard to organize, but I still think it would be pretty cool to see. And that's team blind, even though I like this could just represent regular blind, but that's not the point. Um, so yeah, I think T-Blind is a really fun thing that I always do with friends uh, whenever I'm at a competition just to pass time But it would be pretty cool to actually see it as an event Now the only thing is how would this be organized because it would be pretty difficult Well, I mean a few ideas could be that During your registration period or whenever you go to submit your registration in the notes uh, you would write out who you're going to be teaming up with for this event or um you know you could say that before you sign up you you know must have a partner in mind so that there must be an even number of competitors if not it obviously wouldn't work but when you get up there maybe there's a scorecard with an extra wide space and you both write your name instead of you know having to print out like uh, a bunch of complex ones or something or maybe whenever you go up, you find your scorecard and your partner's scorecard and you stack them on top of each other. And then, you know, both of your times would just go on the same two scorecards or something like that. Um, I don't know. But like, if we can figure out how to make a nuclear bomb, I think we can figure out how to run Team Blind uh, as an event. I think this would just be really neat. And it would be the first like event that deals with two people at once. And it would be pretty cool to see. Now, the next event that I would like to see is a relay. Now, I didn't want to choose something like 2 through 7 or the mini Guildford because that would be pretty long and take up a lot of time. But one relay that most people could do in a decent and, you know, all right amount of time would be 2 through 4. Now, there is kind of only two problems, I guess I'll say two, because scrambling would get kind of annoying because you'd have to do three per person. But another problem is that the cube covers we have now don't exactly fit this super well. Now, I kind of can get it to like cover all the cubes, but it's a little bit squished. Um, you know, it still works, but it doesn't look the greatest. So after, if this event were to be added, uh, companies would probably come out with a slightly bigger cube cover or, you know, the WCA would just use something else like a small box. I don't know, but I do think it would be pretty cool to see because it's kind of like a speed run and you have like multiple things to tackle at once. And these are all fairly simple events that most people can do. So it would be uh, kind of welcoming to newer cubers as well. So this next event is an event uh, that's kind of discussed a lot whenever we talk about adding events to the WCA. 
all the other events i kind of wanted to make it like more unique and more complicated but this one's pretty simple i don't really have much like talking to do for it except it's just mirror blocks uh you know mirror blocks uh pretty much the basic shape mod that everyone has solved um it's very popular and it's a very popular idea for adding an event to the wca um i don't practice mirror blocks but if it was added i definitely can say that i would start practicing because i think it's just such a cool idea how there are no stickers yet everything is just a different size um and it just looks really cool that's a stupid reason why would i say that why would i say it looks cool what am i talking about but yeah it's just a kind of neat puzzle that everyone has done before and i think it would make a nice addition to the wca and wouldn't be that complicated to run it would just work like any other event and there's no complications to it but there is one event that i would like to see before this and it's actually you know something that i think would have a lot of interesting results and that is two by two multi-blind now not just two by two blind because people can already one look a two by two solve but that's the thing i would want to see how many uh how many times could someone one look multiple solves so if a really good two by two solver was handed 50 two by twos could they one look every solve and then retain that in their memory um, this would also be kind of like a good introductory event to people trying to get into multi-blind or just regular blind because you can solve 2x2 two two using a 3x3 three three blind method, uh, but it's a little bit easier. So this would kind of be an introductory event to people who are newer to blind. Um, but I also think that people who are already really good at 2x2 two two or really good at blind could take this event really far in possibly do maybe even like over 72 by twos i don't know i think we could go pretty far with this event in terms of uh skill and i would really like to see this added to the wca uh but that's it for today uh thank you for watching if you like this video that's great i'm glad you enjoyed it who knows maybe one day one of these events will be added to the wca probably not but you know it's still fun to think about Thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.